Beekeeping is not something I ever thought we would have happening on this homestead. And here we are, brand new beekeepers, the very first time. I wish that I could take you through the entire story of how some of these bees came to our homestead. But for now, I'll just have to show you a couple of clips that I had because with my real camera, unfortunately, all of the clips got deleted and I was heartbroken. It was pretty cool the way it echoed off the mountains. Yes, that was pretty, pretty dang on it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It all started when our friend Charlie decided it was time for us to get some bees. Charlie's been a beekeeper for a year or two now, and he was contacted about an old hive that was in an old abandoned house beside a church. The church was getting ready to tear the house down and didn't want the hive to suffer. So they called Charlie and we tagged along and removed the colony from the house. We realized that the colony actually was queenless and we had to go get a new queen. Now this is some of the corrupted video that I still have. I was able to harvest some honey from that hive doing the crush and pour method and we got quite a lot of honey out of it. I think we had a total of about seven pint jars and it was absolutely beautiful. I had no idea how incredible this experience would be and through the colony surviving so far and going to get a new queen and harvesting honey. And I even render down my own wax for the very first time. This experience has been more incredible than you may realize because most brand new beekeepers don't get to experience every part of beekeeping in their very first year of beekeeping. And so we are so thankful for Charlie that he has allowed us to tag along and he has taught us. I'm also grateful for my friend Kaylee over at the Honeystead. She has been a wealth of knowledge as well. And as well as various uh, homesteading beekeeping YouTubers. We are brand new. We are going into this without any idea of what we're doing. And I wouldn't recommend that, but I think we're learning pretty well. So I decided to do a hive inspection today, and the reason for this is because the hive that I'm currently in is the colony that we took out of the house, and they were already a pretty weak colony. Actually, there were not very many bees in that colony at all, probably due to them not having a queen. Now, beekeepers are gonna look at this and probably think, ooh, that's not good. Um, I have learned that I guess I was supposed to add more comb into the frame, and I didn't, and, um, so that's definitely one thing that we have learned and we will remedy that very, very soon. Unfortunately, that means that this hive has suffered a little bit. They don't have a lot of comb to work with and there aren't any actual wax, um, the black wax in the frame. And so we are gonna have to babysit that hive a little bit more. Now, I did not see the queen in that hive. I wasn't necessarily looking for her, but I did see larva and that was a good sign. Now, this next hive is from a nuke that we got from Kaylee over at the Honeystead. And as I lift this top, you'll see just how many more bees are in this hive. And that is a really good sign. They are extremely healthy. They are extremely active. And they are going to town, as you'll see in these frames. Now, these frames are pretty empty. They, we just put them in there as filler. Um, with the nuke, you only get a few frames. And then you have to fill in the rest. I don't know all the bee terminology, so you'll have to forgive me, but this is what a normal empty frame looks like. And that black plastic already has wax on it and helps the bees kind of coerce them into um, making their, their wax frames on that, or their honeycomb, I should say. Now these bees are a lot more active and going in this hive. And what I'm looking for in this hive specifically is that it did not come with a queen. Unbeknownst to Kaylee, it, it just did not have a queen in it when we got it. And there was a queen cell uh, on the bottom of one of the frames and it was capped when we got it. And now it is uncapped and that was what I was looking for. And as you can see, these bees are already going to town making brand new honeycomb 
where the other hive is not. They're concentrating on filling in honeycomb. And so I'm, I'm so far very impressed with this hive and their working ability, um, but I have not seen the new queen yet. And so I'm actually gonna wait another week or two before I inspect this hive again, because she could actually be out on her mating flight since she is such a new queen and not laying eggs yet. So I wasn't looking for the eggs necessarily. I was more so looking to see if she had been uncapped yet, and she has. now. I did notice there was another queen cell, and I'm not quite sure what that's about. I'll be sure to ask my beekeeping mentors, but that was new. That wasn't there two weeks ago. This frame is so beautiful. There are so many bees and so much wax and honeycomb already on it, and it's truly incredible to see the difference in both of the hives, to see how they work differently, but the same, but there's so many more bees in this hive. And it's been such an incredible learning experience. I think one of my favorite things about beekeeping so far is how it teaches you to be patient. There's, there's no way on earth that you can rush through a hive inspection. For fear of crushing one of those little lives, it makes you slow down and stop. And that truly has been one of the most amazing things to witness as they truly entrust their lives in your hands. Now on this frame, there were a lot more bees than on the other frame and the new queen could have totally been here because she is not marked. And I noticed there were a lot of bees on the bottom of the frames that were clustering up. And so that's another question I'll have for my bee mentors. But for now, I was super impressed with the amount of bees in this hive compared to the other hive. You can see them clinging to the bottom there, kind of clustered up. These were on all of the middle frames, and that's where the honey and the brood is. In fact, there was one whole frame that was almost completely honey, which was incredible because it wasn't really there two weeks ago. And so I'm truly blessed by this hive and seeing the difference. If you are a new beekeeper or thinking about getting into beekeeping, it is highly, highly recommended that you have two hives going at one time for this very reason. So that if one hive is suffering, the other one is probably not suffering. And you can understand the difference by just looking into one hive or the other. Here's a glimpse at some of Charlie's hives. And they're just amazing. Look at all of the bees on these hives. Charlie had actually taken our hive home with him once we had retracted them from the house. That way it gave them a few days to adjust to their new queen and they worked out just fine. Charlie is a pretty good bee babysitter. Friends, I absolutely cannot wait to share more of this beekeeping journey with you. I know I will have lots and lots of failures and I'll be leaning on you guys for more inspiration and information because I know a lot of you are smarter than me about this, but I cannot wait to share it with you. Until next time, happy homesteading and now happy beekeeping. <laughs>